Hey there, this is Dax. Today I thought I'd uh, make a video that's a little different from what I usually do. Normally my videos always deal with either philosophy or meditation or something like that. This is, uh, this has more to do with something that you see in the news media. And once again, I'm kind of shifting gears here, but it's, a, it's another one of those things that I feel like we, we need to acknowledge it. It needs to be said. Okay, the difference between what I call a good news media and a news media that we'll call it state media. It doesn't have to be state-owned. There are certain news media that I think of as being state-owned, even though they're not. But the difference between the two, okay, a state-owned news media, their goal is to get you to agree with their point of view. A good news media, whenever it brings up a story, will they'll present to you all the facts, but then they won't tell you what to think about them. They, they won't tell you that you have to think an, one way or another about the story that they're covering. Um, what prompted me to film this video is I saw a news clip from one of the international news agencies. I, I'm not going to say which but it was one of the international news agencies where there was so much opinion in that in that video clip that nobody even wanted to acknowledge was there uh basically what this video clip was about is it was showing Hillary Clinton asking Congress for money to start a propaganda campaign on the rest of the world to make people side with the United States whether or not it's in their best interests. But the purpose of the video was U.S. government equals evil and must be stopped no matter what. So either way you look at it, the video is just full of opinion. And that prevents it from being a legitimate news bit, news clip, whatever. Um, and accurate, well also one thing that this video clip did is it used a lot of something that I like to call hate words. They're words that they could easily be substituted for another word, another emotionally neutral word. Like for instance, they could have said campaign instead of propaganda. But propaganda is one of those words that the instant you hear it, the, the little hate antenna goes up. And, you know, you're already in the mindset to be against whatever it is they're speaking out against. And a legitimate news agency will avoid hate words whenever possible. Um, but the reason why this is so important is because whenever you're dealing with a news agency, you're, you're dealing with your ability to make up your own mind, and when you're dealing with your ability to make up your own mind, you're dealing with your free will. And that's really what a lot of false news agencies are doing, is they're trying to rob the people of their free will. They're, they're trying to get you to take their side on something, or to follow them, or to do what they say. Um, American news media, one network in particular, is especially bad about this. They, they want us to be so focused on siding with one political party and hating the other political party that the, um, when you're dealing with the American news media, suddenly you forget that we're all from the same country and we should be working together towards common goals. But the news media does that, and it keeps you so focused on hating people that not only can you not side with them on anything, you can't actually formulate your own opinions. That's, that's another thing that this news agency does, is they've got, they've got editorials masquerading as news. 
and anytime you you propagate that much editorialism pretending to be news really what that news media is doing is it's saying you don't have to think you don't have to come up with your own ideas we'll tell you what to think we're doing the thinking for you and that's that's one of the real dangers of this news media and it's just something that you really have to you have to watch out for and you have to use some common sense about it you can't you can't listen to them because you agree with what they're saying and you can't listen to them because they look all official and professional you know this this one video like prompted me to film this it it looked very official you know it looked very professional it had the nice little scrolly across the bottom and the the logo down there and all this stuff you know it definitely didn't look like something someone filmed in their house um, but you know it's it looked good it looked like an official news outlet but it really wasn't um, so that's really what I just want you guys to do with this particular video is walk away from it and pay attention to the news outlets watch them. Um, one thing I like to do is listen to multiple news outlets and whenever they're discussing the same story see what they all have to say and see how they match up. Um, but yeah, it, it is a news agency's job to give you information but to not tell you what to think about it. So be on the lookout for opinion masquerading as news. Be on the lookout for mind control masquerading as news. Because that's really what it is. It, it, it sounds very superstitious and it sounds very, you know, um, oh, I can't even think of the term for it now. Con conspiracy theory-like. Um, it, it sounds very conspiratorial to say that opinion masquerading as news is mind control but it is you know if you look at it logically you take all of your opinions out of it which is what the news media is supposed to be doing uh, you take all of your opinion out of it and you look at it honestly and a news media that is focused on making you believe a certain thing that's actually mind control so I wish you guys well. Please take the information in this video out into the real world and apply it. Apply it to what you're seeing around you. Look at what people are telling you and ask yourself, is it letting me think for myself? Goodbye. Wish you well.